Hello folks, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you how would you apply filter on calculative measures. There is no direct way, so I am going to show you some manipulative method, some workaround through which you can apply filter on calculative measures. So in order to understand this, let's have one requirement. My business requirement is given below. I have one major called order quantity and I like to categorize my market by order quantity. This is the logical flow. If my order quantity, average order quantity is less than 30, it is considered as the market type is a small market. Whereas if my order quantity is in between 30 to 40, the market type is considered as mid-scale market. Otherwise, it's a major market if it is greater than 40. So I'm going to apply this business logic and then I further apply filter on top of this. So let's get started. In this example, I'm going to use uh, my database connection as Superstore because this sample is available with all the uh, Tableau desktop client. So all of you can practice the same example. Well, I'm going to use a dimension over here called country and region. I place in a row. And I'm going to place one of the major called order quantity in a column and I would like to see the default view as a tabular view so it automatically adds to my marks. Okay. Now I will I'll be creating a computed column or calculated column on top of my uh, order quantity. I'm going to change the aggregate view from sum to average. I wanted average quantity for each country. I could further apply limit or time dimension which makes sense. So uh, let's add one calculated fill, create calculated fill. I'll call this fill as a flag. So market type, market type flag. Right. And I write an expression over here. If the average sales, average quantity, order quantity, I use the major over here, average order quantity is less than 30, then we'll consider this as small market is a string parameter because I would like to display the small market or big market. And then I'm going to copy and paste the same thing and use form an else if expression. However, if my order quantity is greater than 30, less than equals to greater than 30 and I write a compound expression and my order quantity is uh, less than 40 else if order quantity less than 40 then it is considered as a mid-scale market. I call this as mid-scale market. Right? Else we'll call this as small market, a uh, major market. Right? We have written, the, we close this using AND and I check this. My expression is correct or not. It seems to be some error. Let's validate. So I just balance the parenthesis. We did not have a parent closing parenthesis. I balance the parenthesis and I got the error removed. That's it. I could see the, the calculated field is, is valid. Right? I got a computed column over here or calculated major called market type flag. I can drag and drop and put over here and see how we can classify our market as a small market or major market. Here is the problem. When I apply filter on my market type flag, I cannot apply filter. I cannot apply filter or market type flag. And therefore, I need to write another computed column, another computed or calculative major of number type on which I'm going to apply filter. Right? So let's create another calculative major. And I copy the whole expression once again. I copy the whole expression first. Market type flag. Click on add it and I add another computed column, calculated fill, call market type filter. Right, and wherever I use a num string as a small market, I replace it 1, mid market as 2, and major market as 3. So now the system, this expression will return 1, 2, or 3, rather than in display, small market and major market. So I could see market type filter. If you want you can drag and drop and place over here to see how it look like. Look at the tabular view of it and you see some of the market is small market, some of the market are 
major market which market type 3, 1, 2, 3 which represents market type. I once again use market type flag and this is meaningful to me. Right? Now I don't want to display the 1, 2, 3 to the user so I can right click on this and I can hide this. Right click and I can hide this and I can apply filter on top of this. Let me apply filter first. I apply filter on my market type. Market type filter drag and drop and I like to see only small markets. So I say range from 1 to 1, it's only small markets. If you do not like to display this column, you can right click and hide it as well. Just right click over here and hide. So this is how you can apply filter on your calculative field. So that's it for today. Keep watching, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Thank you for joining today's session. Have a great day ahead.